It goes without saying that we can't choose our parents, but a boy named Peter was in particular unlucky with them. The boy didn't know his dad at all, but at the same time, he had many potential stepfathers who went drinking with his mother. The only joy of the kid was a mongrel dog named Benji. Once this dog came with one of his mother's friends, then the man disappeared, but the dog stayed. Maybe Benji felt sorry for the boy who was playing alone in the yard, or just because he felt lonely himself. All in all, the dog and the child became friends. When Child Protection Services finally decided to separate Peter from his mother, Benji nearly bit the strangers who were taking away his best friend. One of the policemen who was present at the time almost shot him. However, Benji was an intelligent and quick-witted dog. As soon as he understood the gesture of the man in uniform, he immediately ran back to the fence and was barking from there. When the car with the boy went onto the road, the dog was quietly chasing after it. The very next morning, at the fence of the children's shelter, the staff noticed an unknown dog. They tried to kick the dog out, but Benji didn't want to leave. He was looking at the entrance of the children's shelter as if waiting for someone. They took pity on the dog and threw him some food. He did not refuse. In the evening, he disappeared, but in the morning, he came back again to his post. When the children were taken outside for a walk, Benji immediately whined, got excited, and tried to crawl between the bars of a narrow fence. This time, he was rudely kicked out. The staff was scared that he could bite the kids. But running away, the dog always came back. He went somewhere at night, and in the morning, he was always at the gate of the children's shelter. The staff was thinking of calling a service that catches stray dogs. However, the story ended well. Once, Benji managed to crawl between the bars of the fence while the children were having a walk and rushed to Peter, who was sitting alone as he didn't want to play with anyone. Being far from his family, Peter turned out to be in an unfamiliar environment, which he still had to get used to. Suddenly, someone almost knocked him down, and the boy felt a familiar rough tongue licking his palms. The staff of the children's shelter who rushed from all sides to save the child stopped in wonder. The joy of these two, the kid and the dog, was unforgettable. Finally, even the strict headmistress felt sympathy and allowed the dog to live in the household yard under the responsibility of Igor, who was working in the children's shelter as a watchman. The watchman built a kennel for Benji and put a chain on him. That was the order of the headmistress. The dog certainly wasn't used to being chained up, but he didn't even resist it. He was ready to do everything for his best friend. Most importantly, they were finally together. Today, the children will soon go for a walk. Benji is impatiently running to and fro as he knows that his little friend will soon come running to him. What an incredible story of friendship and devotion of a dog to a boy. If you enjoyed the story, click like and subscribe to the new episodes if you haven't already done so. Bye-bye!